It's day one, 30 day keto way. I have gained quite a bit. Hi friends, welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So I'm here to update you on my 30 day keto way challenge um, where we're eating clean keto for 30 days straight. Um, right now it's day four for me and I'm feeling really good. I have to say y'all, when I was um, not eating ketogenically and I was pretty much gorging myself full of unhealthy carbs, um, my left knee started aching, my ankle started hurting. Not kidding, I was sluggish, I was tired, and I think I talked about that um, the last time I gave you guys a keto update. Um, but immediately after one day of eating clean keto, I, it, everything stopped. My the aching in my knee stopped, and um, my the aching in my ankle stopped. It just it's like the inflammation that our body takes on with carbs, at least for me personally, this is what keto does for me. It just, it takes it away. Um, and so I just wanna be clear with you guys about my journey in this and what I choose to share. Uh, some of you feel like, you know, I'm not really keto, I'm just low carb because I go on and off. Listen, I go on and off because this is my real life. I'm not about to just force myself to do keto for views. like just because it's popular right now on YouTube. No, this is my real life. And that is how I do it sometimes. Yes, sometimes I do eat clean for a while and then sometimes I'll get tired of eating clean and I don't eat clean for a while. And I reap the repercussions, but at the end of the day, I'm a real person and I think a lot of you guys, because I've seen it in the comments, you appreciate the fact that I share when I don't eat clean as well as when I do eat clean. I just wanted to make that clear, you know, to anyone who was wondering. But the three days have been great. I've been eating good. I've only, like, originally I said for, for us to eat between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., but honestly, all week I've been stopping eating at like five, and I've been fine, um, which is great. So right now I'm gonna share my food for the past three days, because I kind of want to do this in live time, because in the past I would typically share my whole prior week's worth of food in the current week but this is when i'm filming this today i'm uploading it on the same day so right now we're on day four so i'm going to show you guys the past three days and what i've been eating good morning my friends day one of the 30 day keto way challenge even if you're not eating keto just commit to eating clean with me for 30 days straight i know we can do this we're going to support one another so i'm having my bulletproof coffee today I have um, black coffee with a little bit of heavy whipping cream that I, I um, froth with my uh, frother. It's linked to my Amazon store in the description box. A little bit of liquid stevia, just a little bit. And my MCT oil. This is the MCT oil that I use. I get this from Costco. And that's gonna be my breakfast for today. Um, and of course, I'm gonna try to drink an entire thing of water of my um, Yeti cup. I think it's like 24 ounces of water before lunchtime. Okay, it's about 4.39. I'm making dinner for tonight. I have some ground, organic ground beef in here that I'm uh, frying in some butter. Not really frying, sauteing. And I have some organic ground beef in here that I'm browning in butter. Kerrygold, of course. And I seasoned it just with cumin cayenne pepper, chili powder, black pepper, um, salt, pepper, and garlic. We're making, my husband and I are gonna have taco salads and the girls are just gonna have regular tacos. And that's gonna be our dinner for tonight. Taco salad is done, looks delicious. I just have some queso on there, some ground beef and turkey, um, lettuce, tomato, sour cream and cheese. The girls just had regular soft tacos. Happy Tuesday, friends. Day two, I'm feeling really good, y'all. <laughs> Honestly, my left knee was aching so bad, and so was my left ankle from the inflammation of me eating like crap for the past several weeks, and it's honestly gone at this point because it's just like my body rewarding myself for just stop eating, you know, all that toxic stuff. So I'm breaking my 15 and a half hour fast. Right now it is nine o'clock. The last meal you saw me eat, I think was at 5.30, between 5, 5.30 sometimes. So now it is nine o'clock. And with my Bulletproof coffee this morning, I just put coconut milk, sugar-free coconut milk in it. 
MCT oil, and then a few drops of liquid stevia, and I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Lunch today, it's 12.19, I'm gonna eat, because I'm pretty hungry at this point. I got my smoothie with just coconut milk, strawberries, um, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and that's it. Two scrambled eggs with one piece of cheese, two pieces of bacon, and some blueberries, yummy. Good morning, y'all. It's the beginning of day three. Right now, it is 9.12. I have not had my Bulletproof coffee or anything yet. So we ended up going to the movies, and um, which was nice, uh, but by the time we got home, it was past seven o'clock. So, um, and you know, butter popcorn is a weakness, girl. I mean, it is just, oh, the smell of fresh popped, buttered popcorn with like lots and lots of butter is like a dream come true. So I was like, I have to stay strong. You saw what I ate for lunch. I actually wasn't hungry by the time we went to the movies because we went to the movies at 4.30. So what I did is I bought myself a Quest bar. I didn't need it. And then I bought myself a little snack bag of sunflower seeds and a quarter cup of almonds. And I ended up eating the sunflower seeds and the almonds. And then by the time, like I said, we got home, it was past seven o'clock and I just didn't eat again. And so now what I'm doing is I'm preparing dinner for tonight. I'm having, I'm having lemon pepper chicken. I seasoned my chicken with like fresh cracked pepper, lemon pepper seasoning by Lowry's, onion salt, pink Himalayan salt, and garlic. And then I zested a lemon. And then I put it all in here and I put some olive oil in here. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And again, we'll have this for dinner tonight. To be honest with y'all, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I'm not starving right now. I am hungry though, um, but I'm not starving. I'm about to have my Bulletproof coffee and then um, lunch. Okay, got my uh, Bulletproof coffee here made with coconut milk, organic, um, sugar-free coconut milk, MCT oil, and stevia drops, a few drops, and so I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. So, it's 10.05, hubby made bacon. And when hubby makes bacon, I'm eating it. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a fried egg um, as well. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I drank my coffee and I'm still hungry because I haven't eaten anything since um, about five o'clock yesterday, which was my snack bag for the movies. Did I help tell you guys hubby is also doing this with me? How are you feeling on keto, Vivi? Good. It's day three and he's doing really well. I'm so proud I of him. Weight. You did? Mm -hmm. How much did you lose? Two pounds. Oh, honey, look at my man, okay. Well, that's awesome, babe. That's really good, so we just have to stick to it, right? <laughs> For 27 more days. <laughs> that popcorn was hard to give up yesterday. Yeah, the popcorn in the movies, y'all. Oh, my goodness, oh. The, the smell, because my not, husband loves popcorn just as much as me. I'm not going to the movies again. Till, oh, honey, we have to go see Toy Story 4 with the kids. Not 30 days, 27. <laughs> We'll have our own snack bags, babe. No, 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 no. We, we're, I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> okay, babe. So you want to cut the, the, you want to cut the challenge down by a week so that you can eat your popcorn at the Toy Story Four, or we could just wait to go see Toy Story Four no, until I'm, after. No, well, I'm gonna have a pause. In, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It was hard. I'm gonna have that a pause. popcorn was smelling so good. Uh, oh my gosh. Have a three-hour pause on the. A three hour pause, three right? Hour pause. All that work for just a, a bucket hours. of popcorn. Yes. I don't know about that, y'all. This is Hubby's snack. He said it's really good with the everything bagel seasoning on this hard boiled egg. He really liked it a lot. And it's two pieces of bacon. And so I might try that next time I have hard boiled eggs. Because usually I just make deviled eggs if I um, have hard boiled eggs. But he really liked it. Right, babe? Yep. <laughs> and here's my plate two pieces of bacon and one fried egg. Time check it is 10 13. All right, y'all, it's lunchtime. I'm really hungry right now, it's 12.43. I have my leftover taco salad. This time I just put it like a bed, a full bed of lettuce underneath it, and some ground beef and turkey mix, um, avocado, tomato, sour cream, and taco sauce, and now I'm gonna eat it. Okay, it's dinner time now, it's about 4.45, and I'm um, about to make our lemon pepper chicken strips. In here I have some olive oil and some butter that I'm going to saute these chicken strips, and these shouldn't take long to um, cook, only a couple minutes on each side. And with this, I think I'm gonna serve some broccoli and I'll just add a Hawaiian roll in it to, for my kids and a salad if they want. And my husband and I will have broccoli and a salad if he wants. So let me go ahead and get started. Last batch of my lemon pepper chicken strips are done, or just about done and my broccoli's done. I just steamed it in some chicken stock, salt, pepper, and garlic. 
and I'll add a little butter to my plate with the broccoli and then it'll be time to eat. My family's not ready to eat, but I'm gonna eat now uh, because I don't wanna wait until it's too late to eat. Right now it is 5.09. Okay, here's my plate. It's on a saucer. Got my broccoli and my lemon pepper chicken. It is 5.20 right now. So that's what I've been eating. We went to the movies on Tuesday. Girl, girl, buttered popcorn is like ugh, my thing. Fresh, hot, buttered popcorn. I can just, but your girl didn't even have one kernel. I'm so proud of myself. And what I did is I packed myself like a snack bag for the movie. I'm not gonna lie. It was tough not to eat any popcorn at all because we love popcorn. My girls were just tearing it up. But here I'm gonna show, I also wanna share my um, before pictures and video of when I first started the first morning so that we'll have something, something to compare at the end of these 30 days. It's day one, 30 day keto way. I have gained quite a bit. Your girl has gained quite a bit. You could probably tell in my um, bikini here that I've gained quite a bit. Um, this is just before footage of me, so here I am. So make sure you prepare for next week. Um, try to close your window of eating. If you've been eating in between a 12 hour window, try to reduce it by two hours. You should be able to just fine. I'll probably reduce by, I'm gonna definitely reduce mine by two hours. So instead of stop eating at five, I'll probably stop eating at three, but we'll see. I'll just listen to my body to see how it works. And yeah, I appreciate all of you guys who are doing this with me. Um, my Facebook group, uh, so many new, so many people have joined my Facebook group that because I hadn't like, I'm not very active on Facebook, but we've been really active in the Facebook group, uh, talking about our eating, talking about what we're eating and stuff. So, um, now my Facebook group isn't going to stay all about keto for sure, but it is going to be about keto for these, for these next 30 days while we're doing this challenge together so that we can support and uplift one another so that's it guys leave a comment down below and let me know what are you struggling with and what are you really happy with when it comes to the keto diet thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye